What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Jay Renee, with Prison Ride Radio. I hope that you're doing well. This evening, we got a very talented and beautiful sister on the phone that goes by Chanel Paris. All right, some of y'all know her. Some of y'all are about to know her. So let's jump right into it. How you doing, sis? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So let's jump right into it. Um, Tell the people a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Okay. Well, my real name is Urena Hayward, um, but I do go by Chanel Paris. That is my exotic dance, uh, my exotic dancer name. Um, well, used to be an exotic dancer, so ex exotic dancer. And as um, far as the inmates are concerned, I kind of use Chanel Paris. You know, um, well, I'm from Brooklyn. And I have relocated to um, the Florence area, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. I am an ex dancer, as I mentioned, um, of 15 years, and um, a mainstream actress. Um, but let me clarify about the actress, because some people think I get asked all the time on my Chanel Paris page. Uh, do I do porn? And I want to clarify until I do not do porn, have, have not done porn. Um, so mainstream actors, meaning Holly Berry, um, Regina King, etc. that kind of acting. Um, and I love fitness and modeling. I'm also a fitness competitor. And I love working out and um, staying in great shape, stuff like that. Um, I've appeared in uh various men's magazines and fitness magazines and um i have a fan club um i developed that when i was taking a bunch of photos um you know trying to get into the more into the fitness world you know i had a lot of extra photos you know to have and um so i have a a mail order business slash you know fan club business for the past 25 years i've been doing that and um, I would say that um, that caters really towards, uh, you know, all men and women, but I find a lot of the male do, do come from the incarcerated uh, men, men and women, but mainly the men. And um, currently I do, I, I do run and own my own cleaning and pressure washer business pressure washing um, business but um, yeah I have my fan club catering to the inmates so let's get into your modeling so what you know how long had you been interested in modeling before you started what got you into it um I don't know I always had a thing for the camera Mm -hmm. I started out actually you know taking pictures a long time ago and um and also I was a photographer so not only am, do I have interest in front of the camera but behind the camera as well and just love taking pictures um, I love photographing beautiful people I photograph uh, women as well as men mm-hmm. and um, I was trying to become a fitness model actually because I'm heavily involved into fitness and I've been taking pictures for a long time a long time over well over 30 years wow yeah i was going to ask you about the the fitness the fitness photos and being a fitness model i know that could be um you know not everybody can do that because it takes you know a level of endurance and commitment and stuff so how did you get into fitness was that something natural or um actually um i've been working out since i would say really 19 years old Though I've been involved in sports since I was like seven, mm-hmm. but really, if you want to, you know, we're not going to talk about the, the the child years. Since nineteen, that's when I first joined a gym, and ever since I joined a gym, um, actually I used to be in the military as well, okay. and some bodybuilders came on uh, to like as guest posers. And after I saw these guest poses, you know, a female, she was, um, she came on as a guest poser, a female, and it was two guys, and I'll never forget them. And after they came on, and I'm like, I could do that. You know, they came and flexed their muscles and stuff. 
And um, ever since then, I jumped into fitness and um, I have good genes for it. Right. And I just um, been involved in fitness since 19. So that's a long time. Okay. Well, congratulations on that. That's a good achievement. Fitness is very important. So it's cool when you meet people that are really dedicated to it. So let me ask you this. So when you, I know when you first started initially modeling, I don't think that you had anticipated, you know, the response you had got from incarcerated men. So tell me, like, how did that feel to to get, you know, such a big response from them? Uh, it was very overwhelming. <laughs> um, very overwhelming. Um, I initially started to sell my photos in, uh, in fitness magazines. I started a fan club and, you know, my then fiance um, was telling me I should start a fan club. And I was like, I was like a fan club. He's like, yeah, you have all these photos, you know, you can just start selling these photos. So I placed a little ad in the back of um, Black Men's Magazine mm -hmm. and I got a, I got a lot of mail. And it was so much, I didn't know what to do with the mail. So the mail just kind of really sat there. And um, no one, no one knew, knew, knew what to do with the mail. So um, eventually I ran into someone. He kind of like scratched his head. And we figured out what to do with the mail. And then it grew even more and more. Cause it was because of that one guy who told, kind of guided me what to do with the mail. And it just kept on growing and growing. And... You know, I must say, I, I'm, I'm the original photo seller to inmates. I'm the original person. Right, okay. So you're the one that, you're the pioneer pretty much. I'm the pioneer. Okay. ain't nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. you know, I know it's something that you still do, so you kind of, you got the hang of it eventually, I take. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, at one time, I had five people working for me, um, just getting mail out, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of mail, overwhelming. Um, uh, my mother also, she knows about that as well because she even had a, a group of ladies to respond to, uh, you know, to, to help write inmates because mm -hmm. um, she lives upstate New York and that's where all the prisons are, upstate New York. And, and you know, and some of them dated the inmates as well, you know, married to inmates and mm -hmm. They want letters. They want letters. They want photos. Yeah. And so, you know, she had like a little group of women as well, just writing them and sending them cards. And they all signed a card just to keep them motivated and inspired and just to keep them strong and keep going. So, um, like a pen pal service. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she didn't. They really didn't have a pen pal service. Okay. They were, their little service was more intimate. Okay, okay. You know, because they have dated, you know, the men. Okay. They okay. had boyfriends and husbands, and and so it was more personal. It was like you know, just trying to reach out to, you know, it's it's overwhelming to a, a lot of different groups of people who mm -hmm. serve the inmate uh, population. Right, it can right. become overwhelming because once they know you're, you're into helping inmates or, or catering to inmates, the mail this is floods, it floods in. Mm -hmm. It overflows in. Right. Yeah, I can understand that. I go through that sometimes. You know, I'll, it can be a lot sometimes. Um, so let me ask you, what, uh, what are you up to currently? What, what you have going on? Um, well, uh, I'm still doing the same thing, but it's much harder now because now I have a lot of competition of people who just really have jumped on the bandwagon of selling photos to inmates. I mean, it really have, um, I'm not the only one doing it. And because of that, the prisons have really changed rules now. Mm -hmm. and, you know, at first it was easy to do plenty of money into it. And, um, you know, but now everyone's doing it. It's all, the whole game has changed. Um, you know, you have to come up with other ideas. And, um, you know, so I'm still doing it, but it's it's not like it used to be. Right. So, you know, I, I do the pen pal thing. I had a pen pal website for them, directly a pen pal website to help get them, you know, letters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm still selling the photos, but you have to kind of really curb the photos you're selling to the inmates. Okay. You know, you have to watch that. They're very strict. A right. lot of rejection mail. You know, um, some companies, I'm starting to sell, you know, gifts for the loved ones, mm -hmm. you know, from 
you know, to help out the inmates come up with the gifts. Okay. So you have to kind of come up with, you know, you know, little things that you could think of so they could send, you know, so they could send photos, or not photos, uh, gifts to, you know, their mothers, right. to their, their wives and girlfriends and kids and stuff like that. Okay. I like that. That's a really dope service. I've been thinking about that type of stuff, too, just so they can, you know, feel more connected to their loved ones on the outside. Yeah, yeah. So they won't be, you know, it's like, you know, kind of keep them, kind of keep connected. And so, you know, just show love, you know, to their loved ones and not just be uh, just a letter. And it's just a little thoughtful thing, you know, just small thoughtful things. Yeah, for sure. So, over the years, have you ever made any friends that have stood the test of time or met anybody that was, you know, stuck out special? Yeah, I have, actually. Um, I've met, um, you know, quite a few, and then sometimes um, they want to get out. It's like sometimes they just forget all about you. It's like, it's like yeah. they... Uh, they, they correspond with you heavily, you know, while they're in. And a lot of them just kind of move on when they get out. Yeah. But um, I have, you know, I'm still friends with one in particular right now. Um, he's out, and I'm, I'm so happy that he's out. And, um, you know, he's um, actually from Louisiana. Okay. And, I yeah, and he, real nice guy, you know, and, and I pray for him to stay straight and keep doing well. You know, and yeah, I know him for has to be. We know, I know him for twelve years. Right before, you know, my son is twelve years old, so I know him for twelve years now, or a little, a little longer, like fifteen years. And we 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 in contact today. We you know exchange phone numbers, and I check on him. He checks on me. You know. Good. That's a good relationship to have, especially yeah. after y'all have chatted for so long.